it's baking time again. All right. Now we're going to bake a um, an eggless brownies. Yeah, you heard me right. It's eggless. But if you wish to have an egg, it could be possible also. All right. All right. Here's our ingredients. We have here our one cup all-purpose flour. Okay. We have our sugar. Okay. This is one half cup plus one eighth cup. Okay. And then we have our cocoa powder. And this is two and a half tablespoon plus one teaspoon all right we also have here our water i hope you can see the water inside okay and that is one and a half tablespoon plus one and three four three fourth teaspoon okay Okay, we have here our 1 4th teaspoon coffee, 1 4th teaspoon salt, 1 4th teaspoon baking soda, and 1 half teaspoon baking powder. Okay, we have here our oil and that is 1 and a half tablespoon. We need 1 4th teaspoon of chocolate flavor and Last, our one fourth teaspoon of vanilla. All right, let's start our baking time. All right, let's preheat our oven at 150 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. All right, as usual, it is very basic that we always sift our ingredients. So now, um, join me in sifting our flour okay okay all right here's our sifted flour then we're going to Put our next ingredient, our salt, our baking powder, our baking soda. Okay. Okay, our coffee will be later. Okay, then let's try to set this. All right. Then let us okay put this away. Let's mix this our flour mixture. Okay. Then later we're going to set this aside. All right. Now let's grab our next mixing bowl. Okay. Here we're going to. Mix our sugar, okay? All right, our coffee is already here together with our sugar. Then let's um, add our cocoa powder, all right? Okay guys, um, as I've mentioned before in our um, moist choco cupcake, um, we use the coffee to enhance the chocolate flavor, okay? But it's optional. If you want to omit that coffee ingredient, you may do so. Okay, now let's add our water 
Okay, our water is here. Let's pour in again the other remaining. Okay. It's a bit sticky. Okay. Then the rest. Okay, I want to all the flour and because I don't want to waste any ingredient I always do that when, when I'm baking okay then let's mix everything all right so we actually added here um, two tablespoons of water and some oil also we added two tablespoons more okay so if the mixture if you try to bake this one and if the mi mixture is so dry you can add um, oil and water little by little okay so just adjust it and if you want your eggless brownies to be extra sweet just add more sugar to your liking okay and by the way guys for the topping you can add on some nuts or sprinkles okay so later i'm gonna check if i have some nuts some leftover nuts then I will put on top of this. Okay, I'll get back to you. All right, we are now going to pour this in in our greased pan. Okay, so. Okay, for greasing the pan, you may use oil or butter or margarine. Okay, what's important is that uh, you have there some oil so that the mixture will not stick on the pan. Okay. Okay. Let's pour everything. Okay. I'm already hungry. I want to make this quick so we can eat. Okay. Okay, so uh, I want to remove everything. Okay. And, and then, now, here's the most exciting part. Okay, let's scatter this mixture. Okay, and then make the top most um, smooth. All right, okay. so that later, uh, later we have equal and smooth eggless brownies. Okay. All right, our oven is already preheated at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Then, now it's ready for our eggless brownies. We're gonna bake our brownies for 15 to 20 minutes since this is just um, a little. All right. Now let's put our eggless brownies. Then I'll get back to you later after 15 to 20 minutes. All right, after 15 minutes, let's try to insert a toothpick. Okay, it's not yet ready. So let 
um, let bake um, some more time maybe five minutes then I'll get back to you all right after 20 minutes let's try to insert our toothpick again to see if it's okay now okay now okay there's a bit of crumbs but it's fine now okay all right our eggless brownies is good to go let's remove it from the oven all right now here's our finished product our eggless brownies with some nuts as toppings all right for the shelf life of our eggless brownies if you don't have a refrigerator you can store it in a tight container or tupperware and you can put it on your countertop okay and it will still be fine up to three to four days and if you have your refrigerator you can just store it on your fridge and it will last for two to three weeks all right all right um if you have some time and then you have tried this recipe please let me know how did it go how did it go on your end okay and i will write in the description box below about the uh, ingredients that we adjusted a while ago okay i hope to see you again on our next baking time bye bye for now